Thank you very much for coming. My name is Darren Joseph, HJ.tax. Our team is really about tax. We work with private clients and we help them demystify the sometimes confusing world of international taxation. We're part of a wider practice here in Asia called Moore's Roland. I'm actually here for Weber Partners meeting. We have it twice a year and this time it's Jakarta's turn to, to host us. So I thought while I'm in town, I will set up some time and meet some of you guys. So thanks for coming out. There's been uh, recent developments for those who are looking at this recording in the future. We're the 2nd of May. 2024. And within the last 24 hours, the CEO of Binance, which is the biggest exchange in the world, CZ, he has to do some time in prison in the US, four months. In addition to which, uh, another personality called Bitcoin Jesus, who was a US citizen, but he was living outside of the US for a long time. And 10 years ago, so this is not recent, 10 years ago, he renounced his US citizenship. And on the paperwork that he did, you know, filing his tax returns, just like everyone else, he did not declare all of his crypto assets. And therefore, he didn't pay the exit tax, which arises. And apparently, there was a warrant for his arrest and was executed sometime within the last few days. He was arrested in Spain. And that was 10 years ago. So my point in mentioning that is that I'm always encountering individuals who think they're smart. And I'm sure everyone in this room is smart. But I think it's dangerous to think that you're smarter than any government, especially if the government is, let's say, US or a European government. They tend to be pretty on the ball of what, what's happening. And to think with Bitcoin Jesus, it's not his real name, but that's how he's known on social media, that this thing happened 10 years ago and they still were able to track the, the wallets and transactions and to execute an international arrest warrant. It sends a signal to how seriously they take it. And it's, I mean, every day someone approaches me uh, with a situation that they want to hide or whatever. They want to talk to me on Telegram only or, or whatever. It doesn't matter if a government is concerned. My advice is just to always come clean. Don't hide. Don't hold back. Just do what's needed as soon as possible. I think the, the governments, uh, including here in Indonesia, because I'm aware of certain other cases, if someone is high profile from the political space, or from uh, certain high-profile families, they tend to draw more attention than the average person in the street. So I, I don't think we could avoid that. But at the same time, these governments are, have access to technology that we can't imagine. And I'm not just talking about stuff to trace crypto transactions, but when you think that a company like Palantir, and if you're aware of who they are, they basically, as a technology company, that was created to work with those three letter agencies and they work with the irs so they're checking social media they're checking transaction oh communications that we don't know that they're able to maybe they're listening to this conversation as well so this, this is the technology that governments not just the us but i'm sure europeans canadians australians and potentially indonesia definitely singapore has access to so when you're high profile definitely you draw more attention to yourself but i think anyone Anyone can get caught in the net.